All right, guys, how are you doing? Clumsy Dad here, back in the four square, the multi sided conversation in the vlogigon. There's no time to waste, no time to hesitate. Do the names Jimmy Smith, Max Roach, Sonny Rollins mean anything to you? If not, it doesn't really matter. But what I'm going to talk about is a little theory called the relationship between jazz and gaming music we love it games we love it what can we say about these two fields well let's dig right in we can start off with the jazz phrasing the kind of structure actually you know, jazz isn't that different from classical music but there's another tangent where as you start out with a certain phrase and you twist it and change it throughout the piece and jazz of course you do the melody and repeat beginning and end and you have that improvisation in the middle now related to gaming it's kind of like you got the standard plays the standard actions that you go through and repeat but kind of modify and add and change as you go throughout the game also talking about the rhythms of jazz changing the tempo maybe during the game you're making modifications you're speeding up play slowing it down there could be a rhythm to the turns or the interaction with players and kind of ramping up the intensity you know that's kind of a common element in in songs and music in general and also in games where you start to accumulate and add and just grow and uh, come to that crescendo now this is where I think um, also that kind of feeling, maybe it gets back to something about, I don't want to go back to that French design thing, but something about, you know, the humor, the joy, the feeling, that rush you get, that's also in a lot of jazz music, either through, you know, just the frantic pulsations or the steady beats or just the whimsy. There's all kinds of possibilities available and kind of like that light touch, that just sensibility and that just way of crafting a game or having a game uh, be experienced that is uh, just uh, aesthetically pleasing. And then kind of getting into a more uh, common solid um, idea about all art forms really is just that practice and commitment where you have to put in the time, you have to focus and hone your skills uh, to be, you know, let's say a good gamer in general or to really zen in on or what they call a gro grokking a game. And uh, in the end, they're both social activities about engaging people and there's that sense of searching and discovery like those realization moments in the game where you uh, achieve or you understand ways or twists and turns of the strategy or tactics uh, to be fulfilled. So let me know if you think this makes any sense. I think there's uh, that kind of artistic beauty and fun and adventure in both of these. So like I said, you know, if you don't know a lot about jazz, I'm sure you can attach it maybe other musical forms or artistic forms. But um, in my mind, there seems to be some relationships, especially when you're talking about your favorites in the gaming field. Hopefully, I guess that's what I look for in a game, is something that um, has that light touch, has that human element, and uh, gives you that little bit of rush. So thanks, guys. Have a good one. Talk to you later.